So uh, here I am working on the van this morning, Saturday morning, beautiful day. And this is my first uh, solo vlog, uh, vlog. I'm not sure where Beck and Eamon went to, but obviously they're doing something else. And uh, who shows up but our good friend here, Eric. How you doing? Hey, Eric. And he also uh, is, uh, is nice enough to lend us this tool. It's just like a zero clearance saw oscillator. I'm sure a lot of people know what it is. The beauty of this is you can face cut straight into the material, whatever you want to do. If you wanted to cut this guy right off right here, that'll do it. So the bottom line is what it does is I can attest to it will save a whole bunch of your mistakes. Oh. Oh, you know, oh I, was, I thought you were going to say gonna time. Make a lot of mistakes, <laughs> and this puppy will correct them. You have it as long as you need it. I'm uh, sure it'll save you some time. That's all right. Sure. Thanks, bud. Take Stay care. Take it easy. You bet. Good luck. Take care. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good. Do you think it's time for new pants? <laughs> yeah, I think it's time for new pants, but I can't let these ones go. I love them. You buddy. just keep talking about yeah. them, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody will notice if I just do the little tuck. But then it but then it comes undone right here. These are funny pants. Anyways, cheers. Hey, good morning. How are you? Tripod? I just had a visitor this morning, my first fan. No my way. My first follower, yeah. Here. Yeah, Eric. Eric the electrician. He's more interested in you or us? He said he's come to see me. He said the other guy's got a lot, enough attention, he wanted to come and see me. <laughs> are you putting another strap underneath? No. No way. Eh? I'll explain what happened. It's going to strap underneath. It's going to be on this side. So, so this will go in. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, that's brilliant, man. I like that. You brilliant. don't get enough I had credit, a brilliant eh? idea. That's good. Yeah, those only happen like once in a, every decade. They're me. rare. They're rare. Yeah. Correct me if I'm mistaken. What I think he's done is he bolted this board onto the face of this, traced out the lines where the cross slots are going to be, I hope. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. And then this is going to be the, the one that pulls out to the side bench. Just a second. Hold on. Can you move a second? You're just going to pull it up? Yeah, Moment of truth. We just spent 20 minutes just putting this board together. It is mighty beautiful, I have to admit. Really? Yeah, okay. Just needs a little love, eh? A little love, a little love and affection. What do you think? We got it too tight? No, no, it's not too tight. Push it in. Okay, the bottom board's right Yeah, I know, I know. Just bring it right over to see if it falls off. It's a little easier to do It's unreal. Okay, so let's put this board on. I'm just gonna get this cardboard on the bottom side, so I'm gonna crawl underneath and just try and fire some nails in there to get it held. What a clever guy. <laughs> It'll be great if you could clamp. That end. Yes, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start firing just some. Just a second, hold on a second, hold on. I want it over here more. Where? Over towards Scarborough. It's tight on it's tight where I am. That was a pretty difficult job. To add extra support, I've added this little cross beam just with L brackets. Alright, let's get this on here. I got a tea now. I was waiting around and I saw I'd come for a tea. You want a pizza with your tea? Freestyle Friday. I'm gonna do lunch on the go. I'm gonna quickly pop over to our mattress guy. Yeah, I got a mattress guy. He's in the same building that we're in. He makes these really expensive organic mattresses. But he gave us some offcuts last time. So I'm gonna see if he has anything for us. He doesn't really sell mattresses, like offcuts like that, so I don't know if I would like refer you guys to go see him, but if you need like a really gangster, organic, luxury, high-end mattress, then definitely Soma Organic Mattress in Toronto is a place to go. He does stuff for like celebrities, so apparently one time, who was it? Someone big. Someone big, like like Lady Gaga was like in Toronto, and she didn't like the bed that she was on in the hotel. So she called John, and she was like, dude, I need a mattress, blah, blah, blah. And John like rushed out, it was like a Sunday night or something, rushed out to get Lady Gaga a mattress, so. If you need like a California King mattress, Give John a call. Adamo, you want to try a slice of vegan pizza? Sure, absolutely. We are just kind of having a little chat ski. Um, we're actually thinking that we're going to leave this situation as is. So we've got the slats working. We don't have anything to connect the slats to, but we've got the concept figured out. But I don't want to start boxing this in until we have the electrical done because you want to have lots of room to work with. So we're going to leave that, leave the bed, and jump over to the kitchen. After much discussion, we have decided we are not gonna buy the Home Depot cupboards. You just have to modify, modify, modify. So that's not gonna work. 
We're and gonna, plus they're made very cheap. But at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. We're gonna custom make this and we're starting from scratch. So here's what we've done to start. We've decided that we're gonna have the counter at 36. That allows an extra inch for the actual countertop that we're gonna buy from Home Depot because that's what I bought and it seems to work really great. It's cheap, it's like 60, 70 bucks. And then we're just gonna start by building a, a pretty basic structure of a box. Square box. And then leave you know, the appropriate room for our fridge. We got the CRX 100, shout out to Dometic. Uh, so I'm unqualified uh, to be even talking about this, but I'm a handyman and I'm Eamon's son and he wanted me to help him build you, it. You're my dad. Yeah, yeah I'm, his, I'm his dad. Or, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. No, no, just from... Uh, uh, my, my name is Bob. And no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so, so anyway, we're squaring this up. You want me to make a mark now? Yeah, underneath it. Can you move my book? Oh, I think I saw it in the back of our van. Yeah, it was, but it's not there now. Yeah, it is. If you just open up the back door... I um, might have moved it into the front. No, oh, did you? Maybe. Check the front. I think I put it on... If you open the back door... No, I moved it. Okay. Hey, Peter, you want to say hi to the blog? Hello. You got a good joke? Yeah, look at my pants. I'm looking for a donation so I can buy new pants. <laughs> Peter's like setting the trends here for all the hipsters. He's got the socks and the sandals, the tar on the pants, the sweater from the 70s. Take a look at that hat. Huh? And the hat from Argentina. This is a classic Peter outfit. I'm waiting for the World Cup. Argentina to win the World Cup. <laughs> Keep waiting, man. <laughs> kind of at a standstill in regards to making stuff for the kitchen because it's Saturday. We don't really want to drive to Home Depot and spend our Saturday at Home Depot. So we're just trying to figure out some other things we can do. We got to start making moves on electrical. So believe it or not, we're trying to come up with a plan. We got some homies that just showed up. B&M Van Life. You guys met them when we were in Collingwood, but now they've done some serious mods. Their van's all done. What up, girl? Love the uh, the top rack there, bro. It looks amazing. Check out the solar situation. A thousand watts of solar to be able to tilt. That is insane. <laughs> that also probably makes it pretty easy to clean. Oh yeah. Brainer and I are gonna pop out to Canadian Tire because we need to get a little bit of uh, supplies because Brainer's gonna help me install a high altitude kit on our S bar heater as well as if you guys remember a lot of your comments were saying that we ran a cable through a piece of wire or through a piece of sheet metal and it didn't have a grommet on it so we're gonna get that probably too much information anyway we're going to Canadian Tire we decided we are taking the bike I just drove around the parking lot he told me if I dropped it I have to buy it thankfully I didn't drop it do I get on? yeah a small boy <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out this intersection here. I guess these lights are still out from the crazy storm we had yesterday. Freeway switch. This afternoon is turning into a van life meetup. Some other homies are just rolled by. And it's cool because we met both these couples at a meetup we did. And they both didn't have vans, and now they both have vans. They're doing build outs. It's crazy. What's up, dude? How are you, man? We got the black on black with the dually. <laughs> this thing's huge. Wow. We're just starting out here. Look at all this opportunity. <laughs> this van is actually longer than the standard 170. Amrita, how are you? Hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. A little bit gutted it's not white. Yeah. Eamon always says you can't be a part of the crew unless you have a white No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You can be part of the crew. Alright, we're on it. They're just a pain. This has turned into a bit of a van life meetup here at the HQ. We're all enjoying some spicy Indian food. Babe, this is super spicy. Should we sign off the vlog? Okay. Follow? Sure. Subscribe. So subscribe? Yeah. And we'll see you again. That was supposed to say on tomorrow's episode. He's got a nice outfit. <laughs> Let's go, fire it up. You guys just scratching each other's backs? What are you guys doing? Like something, something in the air today. Which fell out of that truck. Oh, and someone just left their sink there. It is double the size of the fridge that we have in our van. How are you doing? It's good. <laughs>